came to bad guys. Um, and let's let's bring this back to well, no, we'll we'll stay with movies, but we'll also move this in, in into games as well. Mm-hmm. Bad guys. Who, it, when it comes to a movie, we'll, we'll go with movies first. Who is the most memorable bad guy that you just you cannot think of the movie without thinking of them as being the person? That's what the movie was about. What, Darth Vader. Darth Darth Vader, really? Darth Vader is to me the ultimate bad guy ever. He he displayed raw power like he was unbeatable you know that moment in in empire strikes back when luke is like i'm gonna go to cloud city and yoda who is an all-powerful jedi master is going no because vader's gonna hand you your ass he didn't say it quite like that it was more like your ass he will hand you it was and luke goes to cloud city and he has that fight with him and learns that Vader not only is pure evil, is more powerful than him, but he's also his father. And so you have this whole, like, emotional uh, crisis that just destroys the hero at that point. And then Vader wins that movie. Think of any other movie where the bad guy wins at the end. Try to, try, like, how many movies does that happen? No, the bad guy, you know, he might, like, get one or two points. He might, like, oh, you've defeated me this time, but I got your cat. So, you know, that's as much as I get. Vader won that movie. Empire Strikes Back, that was his. And... Uh, oh, I spoiled Star Wars. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, okay, Jito, when it comes to movies, your most memorable, can never forget, bad guy. The main villain in The Crow. The really? big head honcho. Because he was so cool and collected at every single point in the entire movie. There was not one time where he was out of place. He was just on mark every time. And he honestly uttered my favorite line in the whole movie. Oh, let me do a little impression for you. Go, go, bang, fuck, I'm dead. <laughs> I, I, I think mine would have to be, and, and several people have mentioned this in chat, it would have to be Heath Ledger as, as the Joker. His portrayal of that character was just mind-blowingly phenomenal. And that's one reason why I'm really worried when it comes to the Suicide Squad movie, because they've got um, Jared Leto playing the Joker. Um, and we've already seen a couple leaked images of him sort of getting prepped for the character. But I don't think it's so much, and here's the thing with, with bad guys, I don't think it's so much the costume or, or, or you know, the, the outer thing. It's that inner person that you are portraying. Like, you're, like with Darth Vader, yeah, his iconic black helmet, but it was his inherent evilness, you know, mm -hmm. that was it. With... Your, the character you mentioned again, it didn't matter, you know, the makeup or, or 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 what he was wearing. It was the inherent evilness, and with with Heath Ledger, it did like yes, he was genuinely scary. In he the movie. was, and it was it was like it was it it wasn't even second nature to him. It was just his nature. Yeah, that was just who he was. You know, it wasn't an act that he was putting on. It it wasn't you know some it was just that's who the Joker and when it comes to you know the Suicide Squad and any future Joker whoever is playing that character is going to have one motherfucking difficult bar to, to, to reach or go over um, 
Dustin Hoffman is hooked. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that is awesome. I, I would like I, saw I'm that right away. 100% behind that one. Oh, that is the best. Um, I'm 100% behind that. But well, bad guys can really make or br like I was saying before, they can either make or break whatever they're in. Yeah. And uh, I brought up the uh, the example of Far Cry 3 and Voss. A character that wasn't even scripted to be in there, but they put in and ended up making that entire game. A, a, a sub-villain who makes it on the cover art. When does that even happen, ever? No. When it comes to video, okay. When it comes to video games, Dallin, what's 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 your your most my mem most memorable villain video game bad guy? Yeah, uh, Kafka from Final Fantasy VI or Final Fantasy III, depending on what you played. But uh, yeah, him, him. I I remember uh, playing that game sometime at a sleepover or something, and you know. I, Kafka, like, he's he's a little 16-bit character or something. Like, he's little bits of green and, and tan. And he has a funny little, <laughs> like, voice. Oh, that and you, you wouldn't think that you would, like, be afraid of him. The, the way that they got me to be so afraid of that character and so, like, I hated him. I, he was the first video game character that I hated truly in my heart. <laughs> that was I, that was brutal. I, I, think, I, I think the one for me would be the 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 doctor in uh, the new Wolfenstein, the new order. I think he would he would have to be uh, and the funny thing is I can't even remember his name right now, but he was um, yeah. He was the epitome of evil. He really, really was, and it was it was really well done in, in, in the movie. I was I was quite amazed. I mean, in in the video game, um, yeah, like, villains. Like it's all it's always nice to have you know a really. It's almost like sometimes the 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 superheroes or the heroes of these circumstances are almost secondary in in their goodness. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's it's like it's the bad guys in all their evilness and and done properly that make the movie or make the TV show or or, or, or make the video game. And that without them being as good as they are, it's like in the crow, without him, Brandon Lee with the character of the crow would not be as good as what he was. That's so true. Yep. You know? Yep. Um, so, for all we, we say, we, you, know, we, we, you know, we should tone down these evil guys. Like, you know, just it's, just but, as, at, like, just to drive the point home, I want to, like, bring it in the opposite end. Um, why is Batman always better than Superman? Because nobody can relate to Superman. Nope. Well, nobody can beat Superman. <laughs> Superman is like one of those few movies, too, where I'm always, always rooting for Lex Luthor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he doesn't have superpowers, and he fights a guy that shoots lasers from his eyes, can move as fast as a speeding bullet, you know, fly around the world so fast that it reverses time, and Lex Luthor still puts up a good fight? Come on, like, I am rooting for that guy. Every time he always loses. It's almost like Coyote in the Roadrunner. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, like to, to who me. actually likes Roadrunner? That's the that's the good guy in that story. Yeah. You know. So yeah, but <laughs> I don't know where that came from or why that <laughs> popped into my head. But when you were describing that, it just stuck. You know, the, 